Welcome back to the Fuzzins, and today Jordan and Justin are going to be trying authentic Afghan food for the very first time. Instead of taking them to a restaurant, we're going to be cooking the food ourselves. These recipes have been passed down from generation to generation, and today we're going to be cooking Jordan and Justin an Afghan feast. Alright, so first off, we're going to start off with the appetizers. The main appetizer in Afghan culture is going to be bulani. So we're going to be making two kinds. We got potato and chives, but not only are we using fresh ingredients, we're using fresh dough. potato bolani right over here, known as bolani kachalu. I also have the chai bolani right over here, known as bolani ganana. So I want you guys to try this out. You got the dip right over here, that's known as moss. We also could use some chutney in a little second as well to dip it in, all right? Wow. Okay. Honestly, it looks so good. I feel like you don't even need the sauce. But first and foremost, Ramal, I just wanna say thank you for putting this together. Yeah. You were killing it. You were like in the zone when you were making this, and I can tell you've made this a million times. So I know it's gonna be good. So we should start right here with the kachalu. You gotta start off with the kachalu, okay. all right? Ali was saying off camera that the thicker the bolani, the better. Thick wow. or thin, people like their bolanis in different ways. And that has to do with the dough. It has the to do dough. with the dough. Okay. You know another thing that I noticed about the, the bolani pieces? Yeah. It comes in all shapes and sizes. Just like Afghan. Yes, yeah, just Afghans, like Afghans. Afghans come in all shapes and sizes. I think all people come in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> hey, but that's, that. hey, that's oh, enough talking. Let's go ahead and try this food. All right, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Let's try this food. Cheers. Oh my god. Dude. Wow. You know what this is? This is mazadar. It is very mazadar. For those of you guys who don't know what mazadar means, that means phenomenal in Farsi. Yes, delicious. This is amazing. So you got the crispiness on the outside on this one. Uh -huh. And then in the middle, it's like a seasoned garlic mashed potatoes with those Middle Eastern Afghan spices. Amazing. So this was delicious. But what I'm really interested in is the gandana right there. The gandana, this is more watani. That's oh, exactly watani. what I'm saying, man. So I really want to dive in here because like you said, it is more watani. Can you explain what watani is, Bachin? Watani is like something that's just from the culture. That's how it is in Afghanistan. This was the go-to. Ganana is something that everybody knows and loves. So this is more so, traditional. This is the most traditional thing right, that you're gonna eat today probably. Ready? All right, Watani on three. Ready? One, two, three. Watani. watani. All right, ready? Wow. Well, I'm sorry. I am sorry, Kachalu, but Gandana over Kachalu. Oh, All team right. Gandana. Team Gandana, thick or thin, it doesn't matter. This Gandana is out of this world. Like Romel said, Watani. I feel like I'm in Kabul right now, currently. But Romel, you were saying that these were passed down from generation to generation. Of course. So I just want to give a big shout out to Ama Mora and Kaka Rula. All right, oh, that is Romel's God. parents who taught him how to make these dishes. This is amazing. This was delicious. I'm excited for the rest of the Afghan food. Now that Justin and Jordan tried out the traditional bolani, I'm going to be making them some traditional Afghan kebab. We got the chicken kebab, the beef kebab, the kofta kebab, the lamb kebab, and last but not least, we're going to be making them some chapli kebab. Jordan, but cheers, Jeff. Yo, kum sako, eh? Kabob ko fara darim, kabob ko fara darim, kabob ma ko darim, kabob ko sh darim. Okay? Sako ba kay? Chapli kabob wa taniyam darim. Tayar asten? Wow, tayar asten. Tayar asten. Tayar asten. Oh no! All right, Jordan and Justin, we have five traditional Afghan kebabs here for you guys to try. Okay. I just want to point out that this looks amazing, but also your Farsi bachim is A1. Isn't that amazing, Ali? Oh, you can speak the language perfectly. How should we, have to, oh, we need forks in. No, 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 hold up. Right here, we have the nana Afghani, which means Afghan bread. Us Afghans, we don't use forks. Okay, Here's the bread. Oh, Here's the bread. Earlier. You know what this is? What? This is watani. That is watani. Hey. So you guys gotta hey. use that bread to dip in and grab the kebab. So oh, you guys you also use your hands. This is called Afghan style. Afghan style. So which, which should we try first? You know what? Afghans love lamb, so I want okay. you guys both to try out the lamb kebab. Kebaba goes fun. Oh my gosh, namakura. All right, cheers. Ready, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bro, push my ass, huh? Oh my god. Normally lamb is gamey, but this has no like gaminess at all. But this right here is melt in your mouth. It's soft. It's tender. Ali, you grilled this perfectly. Thank you. Thank this you. tastes like filet mignon. Filet <laughs> yeah. mignon. No, like the quality of this meat tastes like filet yeah. mignon. It's Fal so soft. Filet mignon. Fal this is mignon. amazing, bro. This is this is delicious. This is my favorite thing so far. All right, next up we have the traditional chapli kebab, which is very popular in Afghanistan. It's a ground beef patty with a little bit of spice in it. Okay? A little bit of spice? I can see all the spices on it. Well, that I thing looks flavorful. Yeah, it's full of flavor. I say a little bit of spice, but it definitely has a good kick to it. So go ahead and give us a try, guys. So just off of the looks, it looks like a hamburger yes. kind of patty. So it's that ground beef mixed with all the traditional Afghan seasoning. Correct. Wow. Hit Jay, cheers. Oh, wow. Honest opinions, guys. Honest opinion. This thing is filled with flavor. Yeah. So many good flavors bursting in my mouth right now. Okay. I, honestly, I don't even know what it is. How do you guys like the spice? It is amazing. amazing. The best thing I can compare this to is a breakfast sausage. Okay. Like it has all those peppers, the spices mixed into it. Delicious, amazing. I love it. This is really good. I'll put this up there with the lamb. A1. I agree. Definitely a lot of spices. The words can't explain how it tastes right now. It's actually so many things going on in my mouth right now. Hey, yeah. Well, I'm glad you guys both enjoy that. Next up, we have the kebab amurk, aka chicken kebab. I'm excited for this because I love chicken breast. Yeah, and I love chicken. Try it out. All right, yeah, let's try this out here. Cheers, three, two, one. Nice and juicy. I already know I cooked it juicy. Okay. <laughs> First of all, there's no way this is chicken breast. That is chicken breast. There's no way chicken breast is this juicy. It is. That's because I cooked there's it to no perfection. Way. Okay, so you guys are probably thinking at home, chicken breast, grilled chicken, what makes this Afghan, what makes this different? It's the marinade. The spices, it's, it's penetrated deep within the fibers of this chicken, and it's juicy, it's flavorful, it's perfect. That's the best way I could put it, perfect. All right, guys, the last two kebabs left, kebab gosh and kebab kofta. Kofta kebab is the ground beef skewer, and the kebab gosh is the filet chunks of kebab. Ooh, okay, filet, I'm start off with the filet, less, bro. Filet, say less. All right, cheers, Jay. Cheers. Like the other meats, Cooked perfectly, Ollie. And the marinade takes it to a whole nother level. This is melting in my mouth right now. Amazing. Okay. No shajan, but shame, no shajan. Okay, so out of all the meats that I've eaten so far, this is my favorite. This thing is super tender and flavorful. I have to agree with you, Justin. That is also my favorite meat. Last but not least, try out the kebab kofta, the ground beef kebab. Cheers. Cheers. Mazadar. 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 Okay. You know, this kind of tastes like the chocolate kebab, no. but more of like a vertical steak. Exactly. exactly, literally. This is probably the juiciest thing I've had oh, out yeah. of all of these. The most flavorful, this right here, numero uno, yag. My <laughs> favorite, all right. It is up there. This whole meal was protein packed. Something that's made for a king, I feel like. Yeah. All these kebabs. This is something Zaire Shah would enjoy. <laughs> All right. Zaire Shah would enjoy this meal. This is something like warriors would eat right before the Atan. Amazing. Whoa. Right, what? Right. Honestly, oh, I'm just saying, bro. Oh my God. Jordan well hit the spot. I have nothing else to say. He covered everything. Well said for the two Filipino kings sitting next to me. We have a lot more food in store for you guys. Now let's see what we got next. Right, up next, we got two of my personal favorites, Afghan dumplings. We have Mantu and Ashak, and I'm be whipping that up for Justin and Jordan. Up next, fellas, we have Mantu and Ashak. These are two dumplings that are very, very special for two special guys. So typically, Mantu and Ashak, we don't normally have other than special occasions. Okay. Oh, wow. So not only were these recipes passed down generation by generation, there's also been a debate between Mantu and Ashak. I actually heard this oh, is a huge debate. Wow. This is a debate. huge debate. This, People take this very personal. This has ruined family. Oh, oh yeah, oh, that's oh, exactly oh, what oh, I there, heard. There's a so. few cousins I don't even talk to anymore because they choose Mantu yeah. over Ashak. So you're Team hey. Oshak. I'm Team Oshak all day, leaks oh. all day. I know Ali's oh, wow. team, uh, team Mantu. I don't, I don't talk to the guy anymore. 
<laughs> oh, that's why you look at him all dirty yeah. and stuff, and you guys kind of beef on you that. You see that, don't you? Okay, what is Ashak and what is Mantu? So Ashak, it's a dumpling that has leeks inside of it. Okay. That has some moss on top, you have some meat, um, some other spices, and then with Mantu, you have the meat inside with onion. All right, back change. Are you guys ready to try this out? Yes. I'm ready. Since you like excited. Ashak, we'll try the Ashak first. Okay, this is interesting because normally in like an Asian cuisine, the meat is inside of the dumpling. So it's a little bit different yeah, now. We have the different. leeks, which we call the gandana inside. The difficult part about these is our Adijans and Bibijans, they like to roll it up. So each of these dumplings are made by hand by our grandmother, just wow. like your nanas. You're saying Adijan and Bibijan taught you how to make it. Adijan and Bibijan, they're the ones that share the recipe with us. Oh, Okay, wow. this okay. might be the most sacred okay. recipe. This one's passed down generation to generation. <laughs> yes. And even more generation. All right, we gotta try these out, right? Cheers. How was it? Wait, I don't think that's Al Shaq. That's Al Shaq. I think that's Mazadar. That is Mazadar. Mazadar for sure. I don't even. That thing is bomb. I don't even have to try them on too. I'm Team Al Shaq. Oh, hey. Shaq, you made the right decision. Fire. Okay. If, Ali and Omar I mean, are going to be upset. If Al Shaq is this good, how is this going to compare? There's like no way to compare, right? No, and there's no if way. This thing is bomb. bomb. All right, this one's different because it has the vegetables on top and the meat in the inside. See, I just don't enjoy the vegetables on top. That's uh -huh. my specific take. But, okay. you know, every, everyone has their own opinion. All right. Bon appetit. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this is split up brothers right here. Hey, that's not man too. That's Mazadar. Oh, that oh, thing oh, is good oh. too. Oh my god. Listen, All right. this no, is no, a family no. debate. But him, listen. They're listening close. Honestly, they're both. This is this game, game over. Okay. We got Ahmed Zaire right here. We got Bali. Alright, it's good, it's new age, it's cool, it's delicious, but this is Ahmed Zaire. Ahmed Zaire for this sure is, This is, this will get you a Lily John real quick. Alright, no, it's, it's good too, it's good, it's new age, it's different, it's healthier, but this is where it's at. I'm sorry, I am Team Shaq. Are you new age or are you old age? I think I'm middle age. Middle age. Oh, They're both good. Oh, you know what the Habib call that eat? Yeah, bro, you on Salamon. Wow. That is, that's weird, bro. <laughs> I don't know what you guys say, but I think they're both good. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, one of the most popular Afghan dishes of all time, Kabuli. We got rice, carrots, raisins, lamb shank, and lamb juices all throughout the rice. Okay, the meat on this bone right here, it's already falling off. Oh yeah, it's this super This thing juicy. looks so tender. I've never had wow. anything like this personally. I'm looking at it with the rice and the raisins and the carrot. It looks so delicious, but also that. so different and unique. Similar to the kebabs, if you want to eat Kabuli Watani style, dig in with your hands. Oh, oh you dig in with your hands. Are you yeah. sure? So this is how your yes. parents would you eat it. Dig in and then you put it in your mouth Afghan style. Yeah. So the reason why you dig it in with your hands is when you make kabuli, it's made with a masala. Yes. Masala is the seasoning that they put in there, and you want to lick that off your fingers at the end. Okay. All right. Make sure you grab that piece of okay. lamb. What is this called? Everything. Kabuli. Kabuli. Kabuli, my shim. Already. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, this is not Pebble Lee. What is it? <laughs> this is Majadar. Majadar! <laughs> okay. That is just amazing. Oh, wow. It's so tender. What's yeah, like thing? Jay is saying, the meat is tender, but the rice, the raisins, the carrots, they all work perfectly together. There's seasoning in the rice, and it's perfect with the sweetness of the carrots, mm. the sweetness from the raisins, and then you get that fattiness of the meat melting in your mouth. This is amazing. This is, this is it. Wow. This is it. So is it safe to say that this is your favorite thing of all day? I would say this is the Dawood Khan of Afghan food. Oh. <laughs> this is the top of the top cream of the crop. This is amazing. The sweetness and the saltiness from the meat, it's a match made in heaven. Wow. I am just happy to know that our best friends love Afghan food and that thing that makes our day. Yeah, and if you guys haven't tried out Afghan food before, make sure you guys go try it out. It's delicious. Got to. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell to be part of notification squad make sure you follow us on all our socials we're the fuzzes and we're out peace oh <laughs>
I think you caught what was in your mouth and in my eye. Hey, you guys serve Afghan food? Yeah, we have Afghan food. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everyone? <clears throat> What's going on everybody? Alright, so to start it off, we had a So we started off with bologna. This is amazing. I'm delicious. I mean, this is amazing. This is amazing. This was delicious. Now that Justin and Jordan tried out the bologna, I'm going to be making... Oh, Justin. It is an Afghan delicacy. So these... I don't even know what I'm going to say after that. Afghans love lamb. So try off Afghans love lamb. So I want you both to try out... Sorry. <laughs> Afghans love lambs. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. What did I say again? Okay.